Hey guys, welcome back. Fred here at Math and Engineering. And today we're going to show you how to program uh, a basic program on interpolation, uh, linear interpolation, using the Texas Instruments TI-83 Plus calculator. Okay? And, uh, you know, I know this is a little bit of an older model. I bought this one. Actually, someone gave it to me a while ago. But this uh, method that I'm about to show you doesn't just work with linear interpolation. You can program um, really tricky formulas into your calculator if your professor allows this type of calculator. Make sure they allow it first before you use it. But usually if you have an open book exam or something like that, they'll, they'll allow you to use these. And uh, the bonus is, is you can put really tricky uh, calculations that take a while to do by hand into here. Uh, you can get the calculator to prompt you for the numbers that, you, that, uh, that are needed and it'll give you the answer right away. Okay, so on, you know, on tests like uh, in steel design, you have to use the code book. Sometimes you have to interpolate three times on one problem or something like that. This is really going to uh, save you time on the exam. So I'm going to show you uh, just how to label the, um, the variables and how to just organize the, the formula that you want to use. Uh, if, you want, if you're not interested in that, just skip that part and go right to the end and I'll show you exact code that you, you can just plug into your calculator and use. Okay, so uh, with that being said, let's get started, okay? So uh, I'm just going to start by writing out the interpolation formula, okay? And uh, you should always start by writing out the formula that you want to program, okay? So x3 minus x1, y2 minus y1 over y3 minus y1, right? And say we have, uh, you know, two rows of data and I want to interpolate between two of them. So, uh, you know, in um, when we're interpolating, x2 is our unknown, okay? So we're going to have like a two rows of data like this, x3, y1, y2, y3. Imagine these are just like two rows of data, two columns of data, and we want to uh, solve for the column in between or the row in between, and x2 is our unknown. Okay, so we're solving for x2 and we have all the other variables. So what we're going to want to do is just isolate for x2 so that we have the right side of the equation which we can put into the calculator. And that's just, you know, simple mathematics y2 minus y1 over y3 minus y1 and multiply by x3 minus x1 plus x1. Okay, so that's going to be the formula that we're going to want to put into our calculator. Okay, now we're going to want to label the, the variables on the right side of the equation, okay, with letters, okay? So we're going to want to give, let's start with x1, we'll call that a, x3 b, uh, y1 is c, y2 is d, and y3 is e, okay? So uh, that's how we start, all right? So we've labeled all these so we don't get, so we know what letters are which in the calculator, and now uh, that's all going to make sense when I show you exactly what's going on in the calculator. So let's uh, take a look at the calculator here. Okay, it's on, and uh, right, you have this uh, button here called Program, okay? And uh, right, when you first push Program, you're gonna see that there's uh, all these programs here. Okay, so these are programs that I've written for myself. You can name your programs or do whatever you want. You can write extra programs after, it can store a bunch of them, okay? So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna go to New, okay? We're gonna create a new, uh, new program. It's gonna ask us for the name, okay? And you see this alpha button here? That's how you type letters in the calculator, okay? So we're just gonna call this int, okay? Just, uh, you can call it whatever you want as long as you know which one's which. Okay, so int, you can call it whatever you want as long as you know which one's which, okay? So uh, now that we have our program named int, it's gonna, where a colon's gonna come up, and now we're going to start to program, okay? So if you hit the program button again, these menus, menus are going to come up and you have lots of options that you can play around with. Maybe we'll do some other videos on those. For now, we're doing simple, 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 putting uh, formulas into the calculator. Okay, so what we're going to want is uh, we're going to want to go to display. Okay, so display means the, the calculator is going to put something on the screen. Okay, and we, we're going to want the calculator to ask us or to prompt us which uh, variable it wants. Okay, so the way we do that is we want to display characters, so we need to use uh, quotations. So I'm going to go ahead and alpha quotations, and then I'm going to ask for x1, okay, as we have here. So I'm going to x1, okay, and you can put a question mark if you want, if that helps you, okay, display x1, question mark, okay, enter, all right. So that's when the program starts and you press enter, it's going to ask for x1 and it's going to stop, okay. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take the entry of x1 and we're going to store it in a variable, okay? And we're gonna start in variable A. That's why we wrote this table here, this, uh, this kind of system of equations here. Okay, so uh, we're gonna prompt, and no quotations here, just straight up, A, so A is a variable, and it contains whatever we type in for X1, okay? Easy. So now you just go ahead and do the same thing 
for x3, y1, y2, and y3, okay? I'm gonna do that now, I'll probably fast forward. Okay, so what we've done is we've uh, we've input, we've uh, had the calculator ask us for all of our variables, all, all our unknowns, and we've stored them in variables in the calculator, A, B, C, D, E. And we have a list here so we know which one correlates to which. Next step, okay, is to start by putting the right side of this equation into the calculator using the letters that we've put here, okay? So uh, you're going to put A, B, C, D, and E in according to this. So, uh, you know, this would be D minus uh, C uh, over, you know, y3 minus y1, or you can put it in any way you want, okay? Uh, or you just copy my code, I'm, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Um, I'm just gonna input that now. And always start with the right side and then put the uh, where you're storing it afterwards, okay? So we're gonna start with the right side, so x1, okay? Plus, and we have b minus a. No, uh, no quotations in or anything, guys. Here, just um, just put the letters in, okay? Okay, and then we have times bracket. Make sure you use your brackets properly. D minus C. Okay, so Y two minus Y one. That's going to be divided by E minus C. Perfect. Close the brackets. Okay, so that's our interpolation formula, and we're, that's going to give us X two. Now, we need to, first of all, store that into another variable. And you don't have to declare the variable or anything, just type it wherever you want it to go as long as you haven't used it before. Okay, so we're gonna store that in X. Okay, so now the value of that is in X. And uh, at the, for our last step, we want the program to tell us the final answer. We want, us to, want it to display it on the screen. Okay, so we're gonna go back to program, we're gonna go to input, output, hit display. But this time we're not gonna put any quotations because we don't want the program to show us the letter X. We want it to show us the contents of x, so whatever is stored in x, which is x2. So in that case, we're not going to use any quotations, but we're just going to use the letter x, okay? And that's done. Our program's finished. Simple as that. So second function, we'll get out of there, quit. And uh, now all that's left to do is run the program, okay? So um, let's, just, uh, let's just try it out, okay? Let's say we have some data here. We want to solve for x. We want to interpolate between 10 and 12, x1, x2, x3. And we have y1, y2, y3 as... 18. Okay, so uh, how do we do that? Simple. Let's go into our program, our int uh, program, open it up, enter, okay, and it says program int, and we press enter. Okay, so now it's going to start prompting us for our values. Okay, so it's going to ask us for x1, that's 10. Okay, it's going to ask us for x3, that's 12. y1 is 9. y2, 13. y3, 18. Okay, and what do we get? 10.89, okay, now 10.89 is the correct answer, okay, so there you go, that's, uh, I hope that was helpful for you guys, it's a really, uh, it's not a really difficult thing to do to program stuff in here, but as you can see, this can be a really powerful tool uh, in an exam situation if you can get away with using these, okay, it can save you a lot of time, and it can make a difference between like an A plus or an A in a lot of situations, and it can really make sure that you uh, don't make any mistakes on these kind of processes during a stressful test. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to show you how to program stru structural stiffness matrix uh, formulas into your graphing calculator. Come back for that. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.